If you have invested lot of money in buying any particular smartphone, say the Galaxy S9 Plus, the best example, one of the uh, costly Android phone that you can get right now. So in everywhere, you should be expecting everything to be better, performance, camera, display, all the cool features. Yeah, they are there. But in some ways, in some, uh, you know, specific feature, if your device is not performing, uh, you know, like as the older devices are still performing. So, you know, it's kind of awkward. Why, why it is still happening? So this is what happened in our last test. You know, when we compare the Galaxy S9 Plus with the Galaxy S8, OnePlus 5, having the 8 gigabytes RAM variant, Pixels 2 and some other budget devices too, we found that in most of the situation, OnePlus 5 with the older processor and the more amount of RAM is slightly overperforming with the Galaxy S9 Plus in the real world time test and in the launching application, except one or two places, I mean, overall the OnePlus 5 was the winner because you know, it, it was just doing the better job compared to the S9 Plus. So what could be the reason? The best reason could be, you know, uh, there is a lesser amount of RAM. So slight variation and second biggest reason is that the you know touch with the samsung experience ui is very very heavy a lot of animations background services that could be the reason so uh, you know uh, let's do a new speed test and uh, try to add two more devices so today's test will include three generations of the processor snapdragon 821 running the oneplus 3d having the six gigabytes of ram the oneplus 5t with the snapdragon 835 and the galaxy s9 plus this is Exynos 9810, slightly faster variant of the 845. This is still based on the 10 nanometer structure. So let's do this speed test and see now how this device is performing Galaxy S9 Plus comparing with the older two generations of processor. Let's get started. So back to our test. So as you can see, this is a real world time test. So in case you're new to this thing, I will tell you. So, you know, usually we launch same set of applications. I personally do the same thing whole day. I mean, some set of applications and games each time. So, you know, if you're just playing game, if you just left at the same place, you came back after a few hours. The game is not in the memory. Definitely, you just wasted the earlier time you spent on playing those things. Your game should be in the same spot. So this is a real world test. That will tell you exactly how your device is performing. You know, OS matters, RAM matters, processor matters. So many things as matters here. So like here we can we have seen till now OnePlus 5T is going slightly faster amongst the all the uh, S9 Plus and 3T. Obviously it should be faster than 3T but with S9 Plus also it is slightly ahead. I mean either you can take it on the same page or slightly ahead. So Pokemon Go is completely unpredictable. I won't say it's a blame of the Samsung. You know we have seen this thing in the past. Still this is a real test for the Samsung now. Can Samsung catch up with the time it is spent in loading one particular game? So let's find out. That's what we are going to see in the real world time test. OnePlus 3T is going good. You know it's an old device. Yeah I like it. It's slim. It's not copycat like the iPhone style or poor design it's just okay so samsung now on the last second came the ticket to by one plus 5t is going a good slightly faster fastest all of them uh, you know just uh, assume one plus five will be more faster check my old test so samsung is on now the last game and it is launching other games too so this browser is chrome is slightly slow on the samsung OnePlus 5T is on the round two. It's just resuming everything back in the same places except the Facebook. And I guess I missed the Twitter. So just take three seconds extra. And here you can see the OnePlus 3T is also keeping everything in the memory and the OnePlus 5T also keeping everything in the memory. So by the way, this is the open beta update on both the devices. So stable will should be more better than the, this one. This is also a point I forgot to tell you. And uh, here we go. Samsung is also keeping everything in the memory. This is slight animations in just resuming everything as you can see. So both the devices are uh, the Samsung and this, uh, they all are on this uh, same kind of resolution. I kept my S9 Plus on the full HD Plus, not on the Quad HD Plus, just to tell you, just to you know minimize the animations drop because um, OnePlus 5T and uh, they all are on the full HD. Some, some animations still will be there with the slightly higher resolution. Anyway, we got the scores of the 5T and the 3T. 25, 225 second, 237 second. So Pokemon Go uh, did, did took some bit of time. So two minute, 55 seconds. There is a good amount of seconds of difference in the S9 Plus versus 5T versus 3T. But if you just check with the older test, that time Samsung took two minute, 35 second. Due to Pokemon Go this time, it took 20 second extra. Otherwise still, it is slower than the OnePlus 5 with the eight gigabytes of RAM, the massive 30 seconds. Even the Mi even is uh, just 30 seconds ahead. I mean, this is super cool device, a cute device, small device, works fine. Pixels 2, it is too slow. So that's your speed test. Do check the old test too to get a more better idea how does this perform. Now that was the old test. Now this is actual game launching test. In case you're wondering, you know, that's okay real time test. I don't bother about that. How about the actual seconds of difference when launch the game? 
this is a test in front of you still you can see the oneplus 5t is a slightly uh, just milliseconds faster i won't say it's too much fast just a millisecond faster so just uh, two to three milliseconds faster nothing more than that so let's launch the new game this is subway surfer oneplus 3t i'm just not counting it between this i'm just taking as thing you know just how much processor difference how much you know with the age gap difference how much kind of difference you are getting getting obviously 3t is slightly slower side but still it is doing great job compared to the you know older devices of the same page same age when they launched and here you go one plus 5t with the new game pokemon go uh, my 3t got some kind of problem i'm not able to log in for the morning i just tried so many things that not working so this time i believe samsung should be launching the pokemon go first so i mentioned earlier too it is unpredictable sometime it is launching super fast sometime it is late so still we have the same dead trigger too so here we go let's see uh slightly faster again on the oneplus 5t just a millisecond faster i guess last game xfall 8 so there is a white page on the oneplus 5t not sure i didn't see that on the samsung s9 plus so yeah faster on the oneplus 5t again so almost all the games oneplus 5t is faster in real world and the launching test too so this is actual performance test uh, i've taken this 1080p 60 fps clip and uh, i'm just going to load it and i'm just going to convert it to the 4k 30 fps so let's see how about the conversion difference we have so that will simply tell you in case you're kind of a particular specific user you are doing some kind of photoshop editing on your phone or some video editing stuff which device is going to take how much time so this is 4k 30 fps i'm just going to convert that it doesn't support 4k 60 fps so just taking 30 fps so let's see so far exynos devices are faster i have seen it on the s8 too so yes samsung is done with the conversion and uh, there's at least a 15 percentage difference that means uh, depends on a clip to clip it will be 10 to almost 15 to 20 percent faster to other devices so far i've seen samsung is the fastest and the pixels 2 also was too fast check the oldest too now we have got on the oneplus 5t then followed by oneplus 3t let's talk about the numbers we have seen the test too. how about the numbers and yes uh, we know that uh, we are going to get better score on the s9 plus because of the latest processor this is the average score you should be getting on the 821 versus 835 versus 845 still let's see which one is doing the co competition first year one plus 5t again done the competition first year to 208 and uh, actually i closed uh, internet is off on 5t and 3t that's why score is slightly slow i think so but samsung it is turned on so every score is good like we should be getting a respective processors let's try about the geek benchmark let's see how these numbers score and yeah definitely we should be expecting highest score on the samsung because of the 845 is quite good improvement in terms of processor too so multi-core score should be great and the single local scores too so yeah that is a beastie number i i guess the last number was the nine four double zero so that's a geek benchmark test result and everything else we have seen so pretty surprising uh samsung is still doing great but OLED devices are also very good here too so guys that was your speed test and we did have seen like you know still the older devices are working super great now here is my suggestions to you you know a new processor is coming definitely it should be better than the older it may bring some of the new features you know like the 4k hdr everything else but if you're a casual user if you just want you wanted to play something a high performing device still go with the devices which are offering more amount of ram and certainly which are close to the stock and right having a stock and right doesn't mean it is working great pixel to excel it's just sucking every day you know it's smooth is performing great but just not doing better than other devices that i'm owning right now so uh, you know just look for these things which is most important otherwise if you're just looking for a best all on device definitely galaxies are the overall best package everything you can expect in as of today they are giving that thing so that is my take on this one plus uh, this new speed test video hope you guys enjoyed that stay tuned for more videos like that this is sort of now i'll talk to you very soon in next video have a great day